Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go a little bit deeper into the editor and show you some of the project navigation and some of the other cool features of the editor in MPLAB X IDE. So we have the same project open from the window layout video that we've just come from, and here we have uh, main.c. Here we have the editor toolbar. So for instance, um, there's some useful features like commenting or uncommenting blocks of code that you've highlighted. Um, if we open up another file, like we've got uart.c open, and uh, like we showed before, here's the uart write function. I am able to go to the source or header, and so kind of switch like that between the, the source and header file. And then if I can go back to the last edit, which was in main.c, or you can see some of the, the history of where I've been, um, but as I go back to the last edit, that happens to be in main. Now, for instance, just to change something, I'm gonna show you the history tab, and we can see that we get a diff of any changes that we've made, um, so we can cut that out and go back to our source. Now you can see that there's an LED toggle. I can hold down control and you can see that this is a macro LED toggle. There's a couple of ways that I can understand this. Um, first of all, I could control click and go to that file and here you can see the pin manager.h. If I want to have this next to what I'm looking at in main, I can drag it across and it'll be positioned there and uh, then click back on main. Another thing that I can look for is the macro expansion window. What I could do is right click and say navigate view macro expansion of that LED toggle and that will actually automatically open this window. So here you can see an expanded view of what is actually happening in main.c. And again, I can have that organized like that. So what I did when I held control down and clicked is that what actually did is navigated and went to the definitions. You can go to implementation, you can go to the header file, and that is a header file there, but um, if we go back to our UART, you can see navigate, go to header. We are basically in UART 1.h. Notice as well that here we have, we've been using the navigate window, and if I happen to be in the context here, hit F1, the context help for this window opens. One little trick, you notice all these unresolved identifiers here. Right click on the project level and under codes assistance, repass project. And you can see now in main that it's a lot cleaner. One other tip is as you right click, you can see copy file path and you can paste and you can use this to quickly navigate to the directory where the project is. Keep in mind though that the files directory is essentially the same view of the files on the disk. In the next video, we'll start creating a new project.